Hello everybody, you are on channel Alex Baran IC and today I'm gonna show you how we can create an amazing Telegram GPT vision bot which is gonna going to be able to analyze a photo which you're gonna send to, to a Telegram bot which we're gonna make and it, it will be able to see what exactly is on the photo and return you a description. So how do we do that? Awesome question. So first of all, you need to set up a new f environment, a new file in your integrated development environment. For instance, I use PyCharm right here. You can see. And first, we all, uh, and then we go to Telegram bot to Botfather. Here you can see Botfather, uh, and you press uh, slash new bot command to create a new bot. Provide a name, name, then name bot bot. Just, just any any name for your bot, just username that has to be unique and then you copy your API key. Um, yeah, that's it. Amazing. So after that, you copy this API key. You gotta be careful with that. You have to remember it. So we have it here with the chat in Telegram. After that, you go and create a new Python file. We import logging, import base, import requests, import IO, import pillow, import Telebot, OpenAI, OS, .mv, and time. All these imports has to be at the top of your file. Then you go straight to the terminal and write pip install python.env, then you import requests, then OpenAI, my god. Open AI, then Telebot, and finally Pillow. Just like this, you press enter and great. So all the packages were downloaded, and you're good to go. After that, you load .env. I will explain you why. Because I created here, I created an .env file, which is gonna store my API keys, which is Telegram bot token, image BB API key, and Open AI key. So basically, you get your Telegram bot, bot token from the bot father, which we already did right here. Then you get an OpenAI key from platform.openai.com from a website from your account. You need to set up a billing card to be able to pay for the tokens. And then you just create an API key in the profile section right here. So here you can see actually, here you can have like profile and all this, all the stuff. Just like that. And here you can also see the documentation for the vision which I used to create this Telegram bot. And ImageBB is a website, imagebb.com, which we're gonna use to upload a picture so the ChatGPT, GPT Vision, will be able to see what's on the image. So from this website, you go to About and here API section to get your API key. So after getting all three API keys, you go back to uh, the environment and create that, that, that .nv file and then store your keys so basically just like that so you type telegram key equals then parenthesis uh, j just column on colon and then just type in your API key whatever it is just like that and then it's gonna be on in your .nv file and then you import it just like this. So Telegram bot token is equal to os.getenv Telegram bot token. This is the name how it's stated in your .nv file, just like this. So after that, we import the login, basic configuration, also set up the API keys that we import from .nv file, set up client of OpenAI to be able to interact with OpenAI API, then initialize the bot, Telegram bot, um, variable. After that, we create a function to upload image to image by website. So try image open, then output, convert to HDB format, format of G JPEG, output 60. Uh, so then you have encoded image in base 64 format. Then you create an URL that you are going to return to ChatGPT, basically the GPT vision. Then you have key, you have image, key which you imported before at the top of the file, encoded image. You have login info just to inform you in terminal right here that the process is going like seamlessly, all good. Then you have response status 200, which is successful. And you return just JSON uh, result. 
you have logging in for image upload successfully and you just return the data. Otherwise, you, you return the image that failed to upload image and return nothing, which is none. And except an error occurs, you just, you just say that logging error exception during image upload and return none as well. So here, next function, next subroutine, we have analyze with image with open AI. We have three retries, two delays, image URL. Uh, so here just basic code, logging info. Here we use model GPT-40 mini, messages, role user, which we state that it is user that getting request to ChatGPT, sending request. Then we have context. So context is the text and the text says what's in the image. So ChatGPT will see, will look at the image and return a response based on the vision, on the, on the vision, vision. Um, yeah, on the vision, what is on the image. So this is our question. So if you have any other question, except for what's in the image, you can actually state it here. So for instance, not what's in the image, but let's say, uh, how, I don't know, how funny, how funny is that? Like this, you know, you can do it. Anyways, uh, but we'll keep the default, where, uh, to, yeah, def default example. So here you also have image URL, image URL, and your variable of the image URL. Max tokens, so maximum tokens that GPT can use in, in its response is 500. You can make it anything, you can make it like a thousand, you can make it 100, you can make it 10, but 10 is gonna be too too few. So I'll, I'll keep it to 500 because it's really enough. No need for more. But if you want a more detailed response, you can allow to have like a thousand tokens, let's say. Okay, awesome. And after that, you return the response. Here is basically a text response from GPT Vision to the Telegram bot, which is gonna be sent in Telegram. And here you just have an exception handling. If something went wrong, you have to report it to fix the error, just in any case. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna meet any of these conditions, only the correct one, which is gonna be successful. After that, we have a function uh, to content types photo. So this handler of the bot looks for images and if a new image is sent to the chat with the bot by the user, bot processes, processes it using this subroutine, this function. So we have file info, file data extracted from Telegram. Then we have uploading of the image onto the, onto the hosting website to get the URL if needed. Here you can see the function. And also before, bot checks if the image is in JPEG format or not, or for instance in PNG. And if it is in WebP format, it converts it to JPEG because ChatGPT cannot really see the WebP format, except, uh, unfortunately. So we can form, uh, convert it to JPEG right here using this image conversion um, code like this. And after we upload image to image WebP, getting returning URL, then getting analysis of the image from ChatGPT, calling basically the last subroutine right here. And after that, uh, we return it to the user. So here's bot.reply to and message. So our message is gonna be photo. So bot will re reply to the message with a text image analyze our analysis result. And then the result that was returned by ChatGPT and by GPT vision altogether. And otherwise, if something wrong happened, if something uh, was unsuccessful, GPT will uh, respond with respond with error, and our bot is gonna send an error an image, an error, oh wait, uh, excuse me, error text, which is gonna be failed to analyze image using OpenAI Vision API. Awesome. And after that, if any something wrong happened on the other step of the code, uh, bot will also reply with the fail to post image error. And here we also have a short handling for the start command. So if the user types slash like this, uh, slash start, bot is gonna respond with this welcoming uh, text basically. And here we just call the bot polling. So bot is gonna be updating every every second, I guess, or every tenth of seconds and looking for updates such as slash start command or slash photo 
when the user sends photo. So let's see. So let's run this code, one, 152 lines, and check how it goes. So let's run it. Here you can see the logging info. So bot is running. Okay, great. Operation is successful. So here I go to my already done bot. Let's press start. Okay, I get a start welcoming message right here, you can see. And then I also uh, already prepared some photos for us to test. So here we can see a cat.jpg, just a photo of cat in JPEG format, which is also a default one that ChatGPT can actually see. So let's see how it goes. Let's send it there. And let's wait for analysis. And let's also see how it goes in the code. So here you can see uh, some uh, so response status code 200, which was which means it was successful. And after that, we have something some other information going. And here we got a response. So image analysis result. The image contains a cat with great fur. Da -da, and it has yellow eyes and appears to be looking directly at the camera against the light background. Awesome! It's exactly what we were looking for. The detailed description of the image. Awesome, that's great. Okay, let's just test on another example. So here I have sample.jpg, basically two buildings uh, with the background of the skies with also some palm trees on the downside right here. So let's see how it goes. Send it directly to the Telegram bot. And let's wait for a response. Okay, awesome. Again, we get the image analysis result. The image features two tall buildings side by side against a clear sky. The left building has a modern design with glass facades and a sign indicating it is the Ritz Carlton residences. So here you can see it even can read what's on the buildings. What what's what is the text? So here you can see side field and you have the Ritz Carlton residences and it can even read such things. Can you imagine? That's 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 amazing. What can I say? Okay, let's try one last thing, PNG photo. Here you can see just a VIF doc, uh, basically a crypto meme coin uh, uh, in some sort of a flower field. So let's send it there and test how it goes. Just a PNG test, so if it can actually process a P .png file or not really, because we don't have such a handling thing. So let's see how it actually goes. Okay, great, we even got that here. Image analysis result, all successful. Features a dog, like the Shiba Inu, exactly, it is Shiba Inu, and rising great cap, okay, that's so great, awesome. It can even see orange cap, it can, it can even see even see text, what's on, on it, on the head. Okay, I mean, that's great. Additionally, there is a can of Red Bull and, and smartphone, okay, you, can you see, it's actually, can analyze even small details like Red Bull text and like a smartphone. And here you can see, even see the text on the buildings. I mean, that's amazing. That's really amazing. And you can even use it with the function when you use text analysis plus vision analysis. So for instance, you send a photo and ask ChatGPT a question, for instance, how much does it cost if it is like, I don't know, a photo of a football or like a photo of a smartphone, a photo of a, any device. It can actually, I don't know, look for, through its data and return you a response. So that's how it is for the code. We can stop it right here. That's how it is for the code. Here I, I can show you all what we have. Basically 152 lines, 153. Uh, this is the code that actually helps you to analyze vision photos by sending a photo to Telegram bot and getting in response a text result, which you can further use for uh, your other purposes. So that's how it is for the bot. Also, I want to remind you that I have a Telegram channel, Alex IT, which is called Alex IT, about some technical um, updates, technical insights that I post regularly. So for instance, today was the last post and it is really helpful for some people that are really passionate about tech industry, about some new stuff, new insights, this kind of thing. So here you can see Tesla, here you can see some robots, some other things like Cybertruck, Amazon packages delivering, these kind of things. And like rocket launch, human spaceflight, Cybertruck again, all these kind of things. 
which is really insightful and entertaining. So if you are really passionate, I will leave a link in the description. So please subscribe and uh, well, keep updated, keep in touch. And also, I will provide a link to Botfather, to my Telegram channel, and to those these two websites, which are imagebb.com and vision.openai, with the doc documentation where you can sign up for API. And you can also see all the code documentation, for instance, on Python, on curl, or Node, whatever you need. Just like that, to be able to create some things by yourself. So that's how it is. Thank you for watching. I hope this was very useful video for you. You found something new. You really learned how to make some sort of a new bot, new Telegram bot. You learned how to implement APIs from various services like Telegram, ImageVB, and OpenAI. And you really enjoyed creating some cool stuff and automation, which can really help you in your everyday life. So thank you for watching. All the links will be in the description. Thank you. Bye bye.